Hello friends, I'm John Laspina, the carnivore teacher, and I recently had an article published in Healthy You called The Carnivore Way of Eating is the Proper Human Diet. So I'd like to read that to you, kind of like a book on tape, so that you don't have to watch my face. Uh, you can put your earbuds in and do some exercise, do some chores around the house. That's how I learn, is I put my earbuds in and I do things and I take in the information. So uh, you're welcome to do that. I invite you to uh, listen to my article in Health You. Here we go. So the proper human diet was coined by Dr. Ken Berry. The carnivore diet was coined by Dr. Sean Baker. Both doctors are renowned in their fields of medicine and for their contributions on YouTube in social media and in their published books for helping people lose weight and heal medical conditions by way of diet. In this article, I will marry the two terms to demonstrate exactly that the food we eat is correct and proper for our species as humans, and when we abide by this way of eating, we prosper physically, emotionally, and mentally. We become the optimized versions of ourselves. All animals on the planet have a species-specific diet that is proper for them. Beef cattle and cows eat grass. So do deer and many other ruminant animals. If you feed them anything other than grass, they can have physical problems. Most cattle eat grass much of their lives, but at the end of their lives, before slaughter, they are fattened up by humans on grains, which is not their species-specific diet. This makes their muscles fatty, and the cattle in poor overall health, but the meat is very tasty and the meat industry makes a lot of money. Pigs are omnivorous in the wild, eating mostly grass, roots, fruits, mushrooms, insects, eggs, and small mammals. Wild hogs don't naturally have access to human-made feed or slop. When these hogs are fed grains and sugary slop to fatten them up for slaughter, their meat is delicious, and the meat industry makes tons of money, but the animal is not very healthy. Orangutans' primary food is fruits, which make up about 60% of their diet, and they prefer eating fruits that have a fatty pulp. Orangutans also consume other parts of plants, such as young leaves and shoots, which constitute about 25% of their diet. Orangutans do not eat meat. Dolphins only eat fish all kinds of fish and crustaceans. Dolphins do not eat any plankton or seaweed or plants of any kind. If you feed a dolphin forcefully uh, sea plants, they will get sick. Manatees are opposite of dolphins. Manatees eat all kinds of sea plants only. They do not eat fish at all. Certain animals in the wild have a very narrow range of food that is specific for their species on which they can thrive when they eat only those foods. Those animals know to only eat that food too. They don't have a grocery store full of other foods to pick from and try. I mention all of this because we as humans also have a very specific diet that will allow us to thrive and be healthy. That is what this article is all about. The carnivore way of eating is the proper human diet. Notice I did not say the vegan diet is the proper human diet. Even though we can consume some fruits and vegetables, we thrive more efficiently and feel better on just beef, lamb, pork, poultry, fish, eggs. We thrive on ruminant animal meats and non-ruminant animal meats. Why? To be healthy, our human body requires all of the amino acids that make up a complete protein, omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids in a healthy 1 to 1, 2 to 1, or 3 to 1 ratio, fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K, and water-soluble vitamins C and all of the B vitamins, and minerals. Unlike beef, cattle, pigs, orangutans, manatees, we have a stomach acid pH of 1.5. That is as acidic as a vulture. Humans must have these essential nutrients in the foods we eat or we get diseases because we are deprived from not getting enough of these essential nutrients. Then diseases can become so severe that they may lead to death. When humans get all of the required nutrients, we are healthy and live a high quality of life without complications arising from deprivation. 
With not enough protein, muscles and bones don't grow properly, leading to aches and pains and certain diseases. Not enough fatty acids or the fatty acids not being in the correct ratio leads to oxidative stress and inappropriate inflammation and the reproduction of unhealthy cells from a poor substrate. Not enough fat and water-soluble vitamins will lead to a whole host of ailments and diseases from malnutrition. And the improper balance of minerals and electrolytes can cause heart arrhythmias and many other problems related to the electro-neuroconduction of our nerves. Humans need sterols from animal fats, not from plants. We are humans and our cholesterol that our liver makes is from our healthy omega-6 and omega-3 fats, not from polyunsaturated seed oil sterols. When human beings eat only plants in the form of fruits and vegetables, they may get protein and fatty acids and vitamins and minerals, but as much as 90% of these nutrients are locked away in the fibers of the plants. Humans just poop these out in their waste with all the unnecessary fiber. Remember, plants are not human food. Much of the nutrients are also locked up in the anti-nutrients that many of these plants have as natural protection from being eaten by animals like humans. For example, spinach is extremely high in oxalate, a microscopic shard of glass-like substance in the plant that is used to reflect light back onto the plant to allow for enhanced photosynthesis. These oxalates also are sharp and pointy, and when tiny insects try to eat the leaves of these plants, their little mouths get all cut up, so they stop eating them. And these oxalates bind to the minerals in the plant, like magnesium and potassium, locking them from being absorbed by humans when we eat them. Having plants in our digestive tract strips our calcium, magnesium, and potassium out of our body in a similar way. Plus, those oxalates are not nutrients for humans. They are toxins to humans as they collect in the fluid around our organs and in our joints and have to dump out of the body, oftentimes through our kidneys in the form of calcium oxalate kidney stones. Other plants have phytic acids, lectins, saponins, salicylates, tannins, and other anti-nutrients which are meant to keep the plants from being eaten by other species like humans. These anti-nutrients are micropoisons that can cause bowel problems, headaches, skin issues, and many other problematic symptoms because they are toxins. Now certain animals can eat these plants because their biology allows for them, not humans. Plants, in general, are poisonous or mildly toxic to humans. In fact, 98% of all of the plants that grow on the planet Earth are deadly to humans. The vegetables and fruits you see in the grocery store are the 2% of the plants on the Earth that we can tolerate when we eat them, and many of them have been genetically modified from their original version to make them that way. This 2% can still make certain people with autoimmune diseases sick and can cause problems for many others. Many people are suffering from what they think are other causes of their problems and they might be plant toxin related. They will know this if they do an elimination diet of eating only beef, salt, and water for 90 days. The physical problems will disappear. Then if they add in one plant at a time per week and observe their body, they can pinpoint the exact plant that is causing their issue. Unfortunately, most doctors don't ask about their diet. Doctors ask about symptoms and then they prescribe a medicine. Instead, doctors' first question should be to ascertain what the patient's diet consists of. Many people are eating the standard world diet of ultra-processed food. In that ultra-processed food, there are lots of grains, which are from plants, and sugar, which is from plants, and high fructose corn syrup, which comes from plants. Many, many of a person's ailments can actually be pinpointed as the cause being from a plant toxin, but they will never know until they take out the plants from their way of eating. The human body is not meant to deal with excess sugar from massive amounts of carbohydrates. Insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes are rampant all around the world from chronic carbohydrate and sugar consumption. Human beings are homo sapiens. We have been eating ruminant and non-ruminant animal meats, fish, and eggs for millions of years, and it's ingrained in our genetics. Yes, that's M for millions. It is only within the last 150 years that our diet changed to a more agricultural base.
With the advent of advanced farming techniques and the industrial revolution with the steam engine, transportation, and eventually electricity, we now have modern conveniences like the refrigerator, ovens, and stoves, and other kitchen appliances. Companies formed food companies around these inventions, and the modern world diet quickly manifested and is full of grains, sugars, carbohydrates, starches, and ever since 1911, seed oils. We never consumed seed oils before that time period. Seed oils were discarded or used to lubricate farm equipment and chainsaws. Companies decided to sell seed oils as a cooking oil to make money from the waste product from the seeds. Now our modern fast food companies and snack food companies and salad dressings and other prepackaged foods are all full of these rancid machine lubricants. Our human body is constructed to digest and absorb nutrients from animal products because of our highly acidic stomach acid. Our long intestines absorb the essential nutrients from digested animal products. Our colon is relatively short and its only purpose is to draw in water and salt to soften up the bowel movement for excretion. Orangutans are hind and gut fermenters. Their intestines and colon are very different in size and length. They are made to extract the nutrients using the enzymes they have to get the nutrition out of plant matter. We do not have the ability because we don't have those enzymes to do that with plants. We just poop it all out with all of the nutrition from the plants locked away in the fibers and anti-nutrients. So what is this carnivore way of eating that is the proper human diet? It's what the human species is supposed to eat, what we were meant to eat. It's what our ancestors ate for millions of years until it all changed in the late 1800s. Humans thrive, stay healthy, and live longer with a higher quality of life with very few ailments and diseases when we eat beef, lamb, venison, and other ruminant animals, of which there is a long list. Humans can also eat non-ruminant animals like bacon and other meat from the hog. Humans can eat poultry like chicken and turkey, duck, pheasant, quail, and really many other kinds of birds. Humans can eat the eggs from these poultry birds, which are extremely nutritious, as everything in an egg is there to make that bird. Humans can consume some whole fat dairy as long as their body tolerates it. Now, dairy is a little different depending on the person. All mammals, including humans, feed off of their mother's milk for nutrition to grow strong and fast. At some point, we humans lose the ability to break down the lactose in the dairy, and some of us become a little bit or moderately lactose intolerant. This just means we lost the ability to have the lactase enzyme to break down the glucose from the galactose in the dairy milk in our intestines. So cheese and cream and milk may cause issues for some adult people. But dairy is a human species food. Also fish of many kinds can be consumed along with fish eggs and actually contains a very high amount of fatty acid called omega-3 in the form of EPA and DHA. These omega-3 fats cannot be found in plants at all and are vital to brain development and health throughout life. Some plants have ALA, that's an omega-3 fat, which some people have the ability to convert to DHA or EPA, but many people don't convert it well or at all. Omega-3s can also be found in the yolks of various bird eggs and fish eggs. So, you see, the proper human diet is animal-based, making it a carnivore way of eating. Can we consume some plants? Yes. Do we need plants to be healthy? No. Do plants cause problems for many people? Yes. Is ultra-processed food and fast food nutritious? No. Remember, everything we need can be found in animal products. The carnivore way of eating is the proper human diet, and when we eat just these animal foods, we prosper, feel well, and look good. We live longer, and our quality of life is optimal. A human being's life expectancy is supposed to be 120 years, not 75 and not 84 years old, 120. According to the telomeres on our chromosomes, that is the number. We are all dying too soon.
and I believe it is because of a faulty diet and, of course, other bad habits like smoking, alcohol consumption, stress management, and accidents. We now have the science and technology to avoid the diseases that killed many of our ancestors, like smallpox and the flu and measles, etc. We have the ability to cure diseases and prevent other diseases with some medicines, and we have antibiotics now. All we have to do is learn how to eat properly and we will unlock many more quality years of life. So ladies and gentlemen, that is my recent article. I have 13 sources that you can click and read articles that support some of the facts that I mentioned. And I will put a link in this video here to the Healthy You article. Please feel free to read that if you'd like to read it as well. But this was a book on tape of my article. And I hope you take away some information that you didn't know and apply it to your life to make your life better. So, eat well so that you can look well, which I believe is a carnivore way of eating. I believe it is the proper human diet. You will become the optimized version of yourself. Try it and you will see. Have a good day.